Now, uh, as you remember, I'm going to present the uh, uh, plant replenishment and automatic replenishment in this part, and we start with plant replenishments. So, first things first, uh, I will go into the monitor screen to check the available stock of the TEW15 products which I define it for the rep uh, plant replenishment. Uh, and I see some stocks here. I will deal with uh, available stocks. So I am filtering these stocks here. Okay. And now uh, there is a replenishment storage type with the specified fixed bin. And uh, my goods issue in my goods issue zone, uh, there are 25 pieces, and my st uh, main storage types, there are other pieces in here in the available stock. So I am now in this replenishment uh, storage bin, there are 90 pieces available stock here. So let me click on this storage bin and fixed bin type is defined as one, which means that fixed storage bin for products, okay? So I'm copying this storage bin and going to do a SEWM bin mat transaction. And I am pasting this um, storage bin to the related area and executing it. Okay, so here uh, for the product TEW15, um, there is a specified fixed bin RPL1 fixed O1 uh, storage bin with the minimum quantity 70 and the maximum quantity is 110. Okay, and let me copy the product and go to the master data of this product, so the SCWM uh, MAT1 transaction and displaying the storage type data section. For this RPL1 storage type, uh, the minimum quantity is 70 pieces. The maximum quantity is 110 pieces, just as the like the in mat, bin mat transaction, and the minimum replenishment quantity defined as 30 in here. So again, I go back to my monitor screen and I see that uh, the available quantity in the replenishment uh, storage type is 90. So I am in between between uh, the minimum quantity and the maximum quantity. So if I go to the SC, uh, SCWM REPL transaction and write the uh, related fixed bin here, when I'm executing it, I expect that no replenishment uh, will be suggested by the system, okay? Because I am not under the minimum quantity level right now. So no replenishment to execute, it says, like we expect. So I go back here and create a warehouse task for like um, 30 pieces, okay, uh, with my picking process type to the GI zone. Uh, and I'm creating warehouse task here. Okay, my warehouse task number is here. I'm taking it. And in the monitor screen, I'm writing, I'm pasting this uh, warehouse task here and I'm executing it. And confirm warehouse task in the background, okay? This picking warehouse task, okay. So once more, I'm go back to available stock for the TEW15 um, product, and I see that 
uh, now I am 60 pieces available stock in my replenishment uh, process type. So I now I am under the minimum quantity level. And I go back to the REPI transaction with this uh, fixed bin and I'm executing it. Uh, now I expect that system uh, suggests me, offers me a replenishment type with the Y310 uh, process type, which is defined in the system, uh, and with the minimum replenishment quantity level, which is defined in the in the uh, master data of the product here, um, with to the fixed bin. Uh, which I specified before. And if I select the line and execute it, the replenishment warehouse task is created by the system, okay? So I'm going to warehouse task uh, in the monitor screen again, and I'm executing it, and I will confirm it in the background. So... Let me check once more the available stock of my product with the uh, true storage, uh, storage type, stock type. Now I am 90 pieces in my replenishment uh, storage type. And the plant replenishment is done here. Okay. So let me jump up to the um, automatic replenishment now. I, for the automatic replenishment, uh, I defined as TEW11 products here. And let me sort the bins here. Okay. This storage bin is defined as a fixed bin for this TEW11. 11 products okay uh, and let me quickly click on it and it says fixed bin, it's fixed bin type is equal to one a uh, fixed storage bin for products and i am copying it and i am going to bin mat transaction again and uh, pasting it and execute the bin mat transaction now for this specific TW11 product, this storage bin um, is a fixed bin and with the minimum quantity level 100 and the maximum quantity level 200. And for the product master data, I'm displaying the uh, storage type data here. I see that the minimum quantity level and the maximum quantity level here as well. And the minimum replenishment quantity is 50 pieces uh, defined in here, okay? So once more, I am go back to the monitor screen and I see that in this specified fixed bin, I'm already under the minimum quantity. There are 30 pieces available stock here. So I create a warehouse task for, for example, five pieces with the picking uh, uh, process type to the GI uh, zone, okay? I'm creating the warehouse task here. And I go back to the warehouse task, I delete it, and I will search up with the creation time this time, okay, I, I executing it. This is my um, related warehouse task with TEW11 uh, product, okay? Now, uh, I expect that when I just uh, confirm this warehouse task, I wanted to see that uh, a warehouse task with replenishment moment, uh, which is created by the system automatically itself, okay? I am confirming it now. Okay. And now there is 
the replenishment, uh, there is a warehouse task with replenishment activity with Y310 process type uh, with to, from the uh, main storage types to the replenishment storage type to the specific fixed bin with the quantity of 100, 150, which is the multiple of the minimum uh, replenishment quantity. It's not that, it was this one. Yes, 150, multiple of the minimum replenishment quantity. So if I confirm it in the background, I'm done with the automatic replenishment as well. So before we end up with the uh, demonstration, I will go back to the SEWM REPL uh, transaction. And I wanted to briefly to tell you this transaction very shortly. In this area, plant replenishment, order related replenishment, and create part replenishment radio buttons. We played with the replenish, uh, plant replenishment. So we use this uh, location and product uh, area for searching for a product or storage bin or storage type criteria uh, as well. And the, for the if you work on the order related replenishment, you can use this area uh, because it contains of outbound delivery related uh, criteria here, like goods issue date, peak horizon date and time, etc. And for the additional settings in the uh, for the first one, do not consider minimum quantity is about plant replenishment. Uh, let me explain it uh, with an example. For example, let's assume the uh, fixed bins minimum quantity is 70 and the maximum quantity is 90 and the minimum replenishment quantity is defined as 30, okay? So if the stock level drops down to 65, the gap between the current stock and the maximum uh, quantity is uh, 25, uh, which is under the minimum replenishment quantity. So if you click on the uh, this flag okay the system allows you to make a replenishment with amount of uh, tw tw um, 25 uh, amounts okay and even if it is under the 30 so these two are uh, filled to maximum quantity and exceed maximum quantity is about order related replenishment and uh, if you click on the fill the maximum quantity for the products that are relevant to replenishment the system performs an order related replenishment in such a way that the maximum quantity of the product is always reached in uh, in the storage bin or the storage type and the last one is exceeds maximum quantity. If the total amount of open warehouse request quantity, which is defined as the required quantity, as you remember from the presentation, uh, is the larger than the maximum quantity of a product in the storage bin or storage type, replenishment take uh, place over and 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 above the maximum quantity. 